Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of the strain Weasel Hair Clock Removing Tool. It says quick release. And uh, yeah, this is actually as seen on TV. You see this on TV shopping channels and there, of course, it works absolutely no problem. But how is it in real life? I bought this about uh, one week ago at Home Depot. Can't really remember how much it was, maybe $10 or so. I thought, okay. It's a nice tool, not too expensive. I can use this over and over again. No, unfortunately, this is not going to happen because, I mean, the handle here is reusable, but unfortunately, these parts here, this is a, like a Velcro strap, and these parts are not reusable. At least, this is what they are saying, because probably the hair is sticking so hard to it. I mean, you could uh, pull it off a little bit, but there will be always some old hair, and that's nasty. And this is not what you want to have here all the time. So it works actually just two times, and then it's a little bit expensive for me, because in the past, I've been using such a wire here, and using pliers i bent it around something like that and then i pushed it down the drain and removed all the hair usually it was working but sometimes it can be a little bit tight sometimes the opening are so narrow that it's very difficult to push it in and take everything out so i had the impression this is very thin and this could do the job very nicely so let's open the thing Here's the handle. So let's take out one of these disposable hair clock wands. And so what we have to do, I mean, this is rotatable and I think it has to be in this position here, not in this position, but like that. And we push it up a little bit and then we can slide this in here. Yeah, that looks like it's matching here. We push it inside and then we can push it down. Yeah, that's super easy. Definitely not a problem. And now we can push it down and then hold it and rotate it and then coil the mess up and dispose it. So let's go outside, see if it works. So we are outside in the bathroom and so we can see the problem here when I let the water running for a long time. It is backing up and not uh, going away as intended or how it was. So I'm using here a glove, which I highly recommend because it can be a little bit nasty. If you have a weak stomach, then that's probably anyway not the thing for you. So let's open this here, remove this part to get a little bit better access. I think that's it. We cannot remove more. So you can see how tight this is. And so it's definitely difficult to put something down there. I don't know why they are doing that. In a lot of countries, they have usually wider openings here. Here in the US, it is usually very tight. I don't know why and we cannot really remove it. So let's push it down here. Even with this thing here, it's still very tight, but it works. We are going down. Yeah, now I'm fully down. So let's see if we can find something. I'm pulling slowly out and keep rotating. Yeah, there was not so much. I mean, of course, it should be down there, here. Okay, you can see it has also left here a little bit a mess. And we don't have a lot of stuff, not much hair here, unfortunately. So I'm doing this a couple of times here, going up and down and rotating. Yeah, it's really causing a mess. I'm doing this here on this side as well. Okay, so we have more here. And probably that's it. You can see the Velcro thing is filled up and probably more hair won't stick here. What I'm going to do here is the glove is to remove the thing here. Yeah, it's difficult. It's almost impossible to remove this thing here. This is really sticking. This is really one time usage, nothing more. So I push it down here on this side as well. Yeah, I have to clean this here a little bit. It's really nasty. Okay, let's do it one more time. You can see it's a little bit bending here. Difficult, so push it down. Let's go down one last time, maybe. Yeah, there is quite some resistance now, of course. 
Yeah, I guess that was probably already it from the first Velcro thing. So I push this up here, slide this out, and now the whole thing goes into plastic bag. It rinse everything down. Yeah, I think I have to clean a little bit more after that. Nasty stuff. Close it again. Also washing this with soap after that. So let's see if there's some improvements. Yeah, I can see it's still backing up. I mean, I have been able to remove some hair, but actually not really as expected. I was definitely hoping for some better results. This proves definitely that there is still a lot down there and just going down with this Velcro thing. Yeah, didn't remove the problem. And so definitely at the end, not the full success, which I was hoping for. It removed something, but definitely not everything. Not what you see like on TV. You just push it down, rotate it a little bit and then pull everything out in one thing. Maybe there are some situations where you can do that, but here, at least in my case, it did not work like that. So uh, it looks like I have to stick with such uh, solutions for longer time. Also the disappointment for me that it's uh, just a one time thing that these are disposable things and cannot be reused. So it could be quite expensive over time. But on the very positive side, again, it did take out some of the stuff. And what I really think what's really good is that the chance or the risk that you damage something with this thing here is very low. So there's almost no risk that you get stuck and damage something that's definitely much lower than when you're using some metal wire or so. So especially if you are renting the place and not owning it, then I would probably still go with a couple of these things and not with the wire. So that's it for now. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing where you can also buy this set here down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time